Now that we have finished the intersection corridor model, we will complete this project by creating an overall top surface that covers the entire corridor. At this point, the majority of the corridor model already has a top surface. The only remaining items are these two new corridors we've made. I'm going to create a top surface for this western connection. I'll select the corridor and I'll come up and click the corridor surfaces button. I'd like to create a new surface. We'll call this Secondary Street West Blend Top. I will then select a style. I'm going to use the same style we've been using up to this point. Triangles 1, 1, existing orange. I'll click OK. I would like to triangulate to all of the links that include a top code. I'd like those to be break lines, and I'd like to use the top links overhang correction. I'd also like to add some feature lines to the surface data. We'll add the back of curb, face of curb, flow line gutter, and the flange. Finally, I'll add a boundary. I'll go to the Boundaries tab, I'll right-click on the surface name, and I'll choose Corridor Extents as Outer Boundary. I'll click OK, we'll rebuild the corridor, and our surface is complete. Let's create the surface for the Eastern Connection. I'll select the corridor, and we'll go to Corridor Surfaces. I will create another top surface. This one will be Secondary Street East Blend Top. We will use the same style. Top links, brake line, top links overhang correction, and we will select the same feature lines. Face of curb, flange, flow line gutter. I will also use the corridor extents as the outer boundary. I'll click OK, and I'll rebuild the corridor. Let's take a quick look at these new surfaces. I'm going to select both of them, and we'll look at them in the object viewer. Let's tip this up, we'll rotate it around. Everything looks to be OK. I'll close the object viewer, and I'll press Escape. Finally, let's merge all of these top surfaces together into a single set of triangles. I'm going to start by hiding all of these existing surfaces. I'll do that by selecting one of them. I'll right-click and I'll choose Select Similar, which selects all of them. And then in the Properties palette, I'll change all of their styles to No Display. I'll press Escape. We will then create a brand new surface. I'm going to call this Overall Composite. For the style, I'm going to choose something a little bit different. Let's do triangles 1, 1, existing green this time. I'll click OK. Now that the surface has been created, I'm going to find it on the Prospector tab. I'll open the Services category. I will expand Overall Composite, and I'll come down and expand its definition. I will then right-click on Edits, and I'll come down and choose Paste Surface. I would like to paste the data of all of these top surfaces into the composite surface. I'll do that by selecting the first top surface. I'll hold my Shift key and select the last one. That selects all of them in between, and I'll click OK. And that's it. This surface now represents the entire top surface for the corridor model. I'm going to select it, and we'll take a look at it in the Object Viewer. Let's tip this up. We'll zoom in. We'll orbit this around. As I look at this, it appears that everything is connecting perfectly. When I'm finished reviewing the model, I'll click the X to close the object viewer. At this point, we have fully completed our intersection modeling project. Don't stop here, though. See if you can take some of the tools and workflows that we've seen here and apply them to your own production work.